What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about team fights. Now this is an issue that I think is really, really big because it doesn't just affect you. If you're a bad player, then normally that will just affect you. But for the most part, when you are a bad team fighter, that's going to affect your whole team because you're not only going to be feeding the enemy team, but you're also going to be, in some cases, hurting your own team. So we're just going to talk about some basic strategies of team fighting and break down one of my best team fights that I've had and uh, sort of just show why it went so well and some of the things that could have gone better or that the enemy team did wrong. So you see right here, I'm going to come up right here and basically what happens is Arden is tanking. Now this is Arden's role and when you're talking about team fights, you really have to be thinking about who is your tank, who is your carry, and who is your assassin or fighter. Now that's generally the setup you have. Obviously you can have slightly different setups, but that is probably the best setup at the moment and you're always going to want to try and target their uh, marksmen for the most part so if they have a Ringo if they have a scarf if they have anyone who just does a lot of damage but has very very little health that's going to be the person you're going to be trying to target now obviously if there's a very very good Arden player or a very good Koshka player then you're going to want to keep that in mind and you're probably going to want to try and take them out because they're going to be more of a threat to you but for the most part it's going to be those carriers that you're going to want to focus on so you see right there we took out the scarf now the scarf is probably one of the most not just scarf but the marksman is the most important carry to take out because if you take out their marksman even though you might be low on health you should be able to kite and take out the rest of their enemies very very easily so we took out their scarf and their kashka and then at the very end i turned to their arden now arden is very special because as a marksman as ringo i actually get some speed boost with my second ability and i was able to kite him away and this is something you're going to see a lot at the end of very good team fights if you actually get them correctly you should have the enemy's team the enemy team's tank left and your team's marksman left now obviously you can have some other characters left if say all of your team survived or something like that and you got a perfect ace but for the most part if it's a close team fight you're going to end with the enemy team tank alive and your marksman alive that should how it should go and the reason for that is that it goes tanks are the least important then it comes to the assassins and then it comes to your marksman now that goes for the opposite when you're attacking an enemy team you're going to focus the marksmen first wow i can't talk you're going to focus the marksmen first then you're going to go for the assassins or fighters and then you're going to go for their tanks and the reason for that is that tanks are not too much of a threat to you they're really just there to shut down any assassins trying to get at your marksmen and they're there to take all the hits from your uh, your team's marksmen so basically the way that you want to set yourself up is as a marksman you want to stay behind your tank and your assassin your assassin should be trying to get way behind the enemy team's line and take out the enemy team's marksman and you should be just sitting right behind your tank and shooting away at your tank or at anyone who really comes near me until the end of the fight when you just sort of try and kite away the enemy team and try and uh, hopefully pick up those last minute kills that are going to turn the tide of the fight in your favor but what a lot of marksmen end up doing which is not very smart is trying Trying to make that lunge to take out the enemy carry and the reason that this isn't smart is because what will end up happening is the enemy team's assassin and marksman will get on you at the at the same time or close to the same time and you will get blown up quicker than you can actually take out the enemy team's marksman so it's always better to stay safe than it is to try and go for those crazy crazy kills because in the end of a team fight you're going to be the one that's going to be left alive and you're going to be the one that's going to be finishing up and getting that ace for your team so i hope these tips helped you just to sort of recap here always target the marksman marksman first and if you are a marksman then stay behind your tank and if you execute a team fight that is close and done correctly then you should be the marksman that is alive at the very end and the enemy team should have only their tank alive at the very end so that's pretty much just the breakdown for you guys if you enjoy be sure to leave a like comment and subscription and become a lieutenant today and i will talk to you guys in the next video